Norway, or the Rich Cousin as it's known in the Nordic region, is a small country with a big reputation. Despite its size, it has managed to build one of the strongest and most successful economies in the world. From its thriving oil and gas industry to its sustainable fishing and forestry practices, Norway has been able to create a model of economic success that many countries aspire to replicate. But what makes Norway's economy so unique? Is it their vast natural resources, their highly educated workforce, or perhaps their progressive social policies? The truth is, it's a combination of all these factors and more. So, in this video, we're going to dive deep into the secrets of Norway's economic success. We'll explore how a country with a population of just over 5 million has been able to build a prosperous and sustainable economy that benefits not just the few, but the many. By the end of this video, we'll have got to the bottom of what makes Norway's economy so special and the lessons we can all learn from their success. But before we get into it, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. We will cover some important and controversial topics on this channel, and your support will really help us with the algorithm. Norway's economic success did not happen overnight. It has a rich historical context that spans centuries. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, Norway's economy was largely based on agriculture, timber and fishing, and Norwegians typically lived under conditions of considerable scarcity. However, famine was rare in the country, thanks to its strategic location for fishing and the availability of natural resources. Norway was in fact the poorest of the three Scandinavian kingdoms back during the Viking Age. That has clearly all changed, particularly in the last 40 years. Petroleum activities on the Norwegian continental shelf have contributed significantly to Norway's economic growth and finance much of the welfare state that makes Norway's economic model so successful. This development was not immediate, but it took decades of investment in exploration and drilling technology, as well as strict regulations for environmental and safety standards. The Norwegian government created the Norwegian Petroleum Directorate, or NPD, in 1972 to manage the country's oil and gas resources, ensuring sustainable production and maximizing benefits for society within its borders. The country's successful management of its natural resources and strategic investments in the petroleum sector have been instrumental in its economic success. So, let's dive deeper into the factors that led Norway to garner the nickname the Rich Cousin. As we've already established, Norway is richly endowed with natural resources, which have played a key role in shaping its economy. These resources include oil and gas, hydropower, fish and forests and they have been utilized to great effect by the Norwegian government and private enterprises. The discovery of oil and gas on the Norwegian continental shelf in the 1960s transformed the country's economy, leading to a surge in government revenue and investment. Norway is now one of the world's leading oil and gas producers, with oil and gas production accounting for approximately 20% of its economy. But, in addition to oil and gas, Norway also has a vast hydropower industry, which has been harnessed to provide the country with a reliable and clean source of energy, allowing for more energy, particularly oil and gas, to be exported for profit. Hydropower accounts for approximately 95% of Norway's electricity generation, a staggering figure on modern-day league tables. Furthermore, the country has also invested heavily in developing wind power, with a key ambition to generate all its electricity from renewable sources. Another contributor to the Rich Cousin nickname has been the fishing trade. Norway's abundant fish stocks have been a key component of its economy for centuries, and the country is now one of the world's largest exporters of seafood. Norwegian seafood is known for its high quality and sustainability, and the industry employs tens of thousands of people in the country, providing employment and all the benefits that follow for many. The dense Nordic forests of Norway have allowed for another important industry to thrive, with the country having one of the highest forest coverages in Europe. Forests cover approximately 37% of Norway's land area, and the forestry industry employs over 30,000 people to produce timber, pulp and paper, and is characterized by a high degree of sustainability, with a large focus on the regeneration of forestry once harvested. Norway's natural resources have not only provided the country with an abundant source of wealth, but also served as a foundation for its world-leading social welfare system. The country has used its natural resources to finance its welfare state, which is one of the most generous in the world. This includes universal healthcare, free education and an extensive social safety net. The government has also established a sovereign wealth fund, 
the Government Pension Fund Global, which invests in global equity and fixed income markets. As of 2022, the fund was valued at over $1.4 trillion, making it the world's largest sovereign wealth fund, only under threat from the China Investment Corporation. Despite funding a large proportion of their economy, Norway's approach to natural resource management has been characterized by a strong emphasis on sustainability and responsible stewardship. The government has established strict regulations and standards to ensure that resource extraction is carried out in a way that minimizes environmental impact and preserves natural habitats, whilst regenerating as many extracted resources as possible. So, what have been the knock-on effects of this natural resource endowment that have allowed Norway to kick on further on the world economic landscape? Norway's education system is highly regarded globally and is considered one of the key factors in the country's continued economic success, according to a report from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD. Norway ranks first among the countries with the highest levels of educational attainment. The Norwegian government heavily invests in education and vocational training, ensuring that the workforce is highly skilled and capable of meeting the demands of a constantly evolving economy. This investment in education has helped to create a highly skilled workforce that is able to compete at an international level. In addition to government investment, the Norwegian population also places a high value on education. The country has a high enrollment rate in higher education, with the majority of young people pursuing tertiary education. Education is free in Norway, and the government provides generous support to students in the form of grants and loans to cover living expenses. This makes education accessible to all, regardless of their economic background. The combination of a highly educated workforce and investment in vocational training has created a labor force that is productive and innovative. Norwegian companies benefit from having a workforce that is able to adapt to changing market conditions and develop new technologies to stay competitive. This, in turn, helps to drive economic growth and creates new job opportunities. This culture of government funding is evident beyond the education system, and when discussing the reasons behind Norway's strong economy, it would be remiss not to mention the country's generous social welfare system. Norway has a strong tradition of prioritizing social welfare, and the government has invested heavily in creating a system that ensures basic needs are met for all citizens, allowing for a productive general populace. This includes universal health care, free education as we've mentioned, and a robust social safety net. The benefits of such a system for the economy are significant. For example, by ensuring that all citizens have access to quality health care, the government is able to keep the population healthy and productive, reducing absenteeism and increasing overall productivity. Additionally, the provision of free education and vocational training means that the workforce is well trained and equipped to handle the demands of a modern economy. Moreover, a strong social welfare system also helps to reduce poverty and inequality, which in turn helps to promote social stability and cohesion. This is important because social stability is a key factor in attracting investment and maintaining economic growth over the long term. In short, Norway's social welfare system is an essential component of the country's strong economy. By investing in the well-being of its citizens, the government has created a stable, healthy and productive workforce that is well suited to meet the demands of a modern economy. In the workplace, Norway has a strong commitment to gender equality and inclusion. The country consistently performs well in closing the gender gap in terms of access to education, labor force participation and income. The ratio of women to men in the job market is 0.95 and the ratio of female to male earned income is 0.79. In fact, Norway ranks fourth out of 30 advanced economies on both counts. An inclusive economy can provide many benefits for the overall economy. By promoting equal access to opportunities and resources, it can lead to a more diverse and skilled workforce. This, in turn, can increase productivity and innovation, as people from different backgrounds bring unique perspectives and experiences to the table. An inclusive economy can also reduce income inequality and poverty, which can lead to more stable and prosperous communities. Norway's commitment to inclusion and gender equality has likely contributed to the success of its economy. By providing opportunities for all its citizens to succeed, Norway has been able to create a highly educated and skilled workforce that wants to participate, which has helped to drive growth in key industries. So, what is the country's approach to wider economic policy? 
As we've seen, Norwegian economic policies have been instrumental in promoting economic growth and ensuring that the country remains one of the most prosperous in the world. The government has pursued policies that encourage long-term investments, innovation and competitiveness. The pillars of their macroeconomic policies are maintaining low interest rates, a stable currency and low inflation. These policies help to maintain investor confidence, which is crucial for attracting foreign investment and promoting economic growth within Norway. Additionally, as previously mentioned, Norway has the largest sovereign wealth fund in the world and helps to ensure a stable source of income for the country's future generations. These policies have contributed significantly to Norway's economic success. The country has been able to maintain a stable and prosperous economy, even during times of global economic crisis. The unemployment rate has remained consistently low, and income inequality is also relatively low compared to other developed nations. While Norway's economic policies have been successful in promoting economic growth and stability, there are also criticisms and challenges. One of the main criticisms is that the country has a high tax burden. The Norwegian government taxes its citizens heavily, with a top income rate of 38.2% and a value-added tax VAT, of 25%. Critics argue that these high taxes discourage investment and hinder economic growth. Another criticism is that the government is heavily involved in some sectors of the economy, such as the oil and gas industry. The Norwegian government owns a significant stake in Equinor, the country's largest oil and gas company. Critics argue that this government intervention distorts market competition and may discourage foreign investment. Moreover, the country faces the challenge of maintaining its economic success in the future. As with any economy, there are risks and uncertainties that could undermine its stability. For example, the economy is heavily dependent on the oil and gas sector for income, which is subject to fluctuations in global oil prices. Furthermore, in recent years, there has been a growing concern about the environmental impact of the oil and gas industry. Norway's economy has been successful due to a combination of factors, including its natural resources, highly educated workforce, social welfare system, inclusive economy, and sound economic policies. While the country faces challenges and criticisms, its government has shown a willingness to adapt and address these issues. As a result, Norway is likely to remain one of the world's most prosperous nations for years to come and maintain its nickname as the Rich Cousin.